Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Armin Eprox and I'm back with a tutorial on how to format any disk drive, any external disk drive to work on Mac OS X. So why are some reasons you'd want to do this? Well, Apple advertises their computers as very exclusive compared to PCs. So people who create, um, you know, accessories and different hardware for for computers take advantage of this separation and make one product for Mac one product for PC and they just bump up the price for the Mac product thirty forty dollars more when it's exactly the same hardware the same components in the PC uh, counterpart and let me show you an example here you have a Western Digital excuse me let me move this uh, Western Digital My Passport Essential SE 750 gigabyte external hard drive and here you have the Western Digital My Passport for Mac it's the same capacity it's the external hard drive and it has the exact same uh, clock speed um, the, the same exact same rotations per minute it's the exact same specs but you guys can see the difference in price from these two uh, different hard drives so when you buy this hard drive, the most it's most more than likely not going to work right out of the box on the Mac, and this is um, yeah, this is a strategy from Western Digital in order for in order to give you the incentive to buy this more expensive Mac counterpart. So what you're going to want to do is I have a Seagate two terabyte uh, hard drive. And this hard drive also has a Mac counterpart, but it's about forty dollars more expensive than the Windows counterpart. So here I connected my hard drive. You can hear I don't know if you guys can hear it spinning, but right here you will see it pop up anytime soon. And you're gonna have to format your hard drive, so make sure beforehand to back up all your files on a separate hard drive or on another computer. So here I have my own files. Now, if your hard drive is not hard drive is not supported by Mac, you will more than likely be able to read the files and open them, but you won't be able to save onto it or drag files from the hard drive, etc., etc. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your Finder. You're going to go to Applications. You're going to go all the way down to Utilities and in utilities you're gonna want to click disk utility and disk utility is gonna open up and here you will see the hard drives present on your Mac so you have your Macintosh hard drive the one that comes inside your computer and then you here see the external hard drive so what you want to do is you want to click the second little hard drive and go to erase and then here you see the format. Now this is where Western Digital and Seagate, all these different hard drive companies, screw you over. The format that usually come in the Windows in the PC versions of the hard drives are ones that are not present here for the Mac. It's a different version. Doesn't matter which one it is. It's just not supported by Mac. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to click here, and there's two options you can have. You can have Mac OS Extended Journal. This is if you only want your hard drive to work on Mac computers. Or you can use MS-DOS FAT. What this does is it allows you to use your hard drive on both Macintosh computers and Windows computers. Once you're done with that, you click Erase and you let your hard drive re you, you let your hard drive be formatted and now you can use it on a Mac. I'm not going to do it because I have like over 800 gigs worth of stuff on this hard drive as it is. So that's pretty much all you do and after that you're saving yourself thirty to forty dollars on a hard drive that is the exact same thing as a counterpart on your Mac hope this video helped you guys and rate, comment, subscribe and yeah see you guys later